Hello my friends of Hattery Labs, welcome to this tutorial. This tutorial will be about how to open an HDF5 HDF hierarchical data format in QIS3 and how to do a reprojection by not with the normal tools but rather with the PyQIS. So we are going to use the Python console in QIS. Okay, what's I mean why we have done that? So here we have, let's create a new project. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, will, I will save my, no, it's already saved. Yep, so, okay, we create a new project, yep. And, okay, so why we have done this? Okay, so let's see. I have here an HDF5 documents you will receive the input file for this tutorial, don't worry okay, so here is our input raster it's an HDF, okay so it's a file that stores many raster files so many raster layers, okay so I want to open so I just do double click and it comes with this beautiful error actually I have realized that my QA is in Spanish but it's the same, I mean it's the same error okay so I say you cannot open okay so if you cannot open what we can do for the users for the um, all users of QAS you could remember that you actually you can open HDF files in QAS in QAS2 but why you cannot open in QAS3? Maybe not yet. I mean, maybe they haven't implemented this feature yet because we are still in version 3.2 and maybe in coming versions you can do it. Yeah? But it is possible if you use Python. Okay? So what we are going to do? We are going to open the Python console. Yeah? And then we are going to insert some code. Okay? First, we are going to use. We are going to change to the to where this is the direction where my raster, my input raster is located. So it's actually this direction, yeah. And then I will print all the raster files that are here. That is only one, and this is the only one raster file that is here. Okay, cool, great. So from then I'm going to open with this code actually I clear this I will I open the only file that comes from the raster file so actually it opens this one okay and then here like if I put in a console here I can get the whole I mean because a hierarchical data format actually is a collection of raster files so I get many many layers where actually I am only interested in this one that is the NDVI okay so that's why I select only the first one why not with this I select the first one okay and with this code with this code I do the wrap the, reproje the reprojection and this will understand that is in on sinusoidal and it has to bring to the geographical WGS geographical data uh, coordinate system so this this is this is where it's the geographical data and it will it it will store here on this on the address with this name okay okay and with this command actually what you what you do is that you bring it to the canvas okay so actually I run it Okay, and this is done. Is is this is already in WGS eighty four? Is uh, you can bring some some Google satellite if you in case you want to to see. Okay, and th that's it. Okay, you don't need more. 
okay and then you can do and then you can use this or maybe you can if you like you can for example here you can change it to the to a UTM or something like that okay and doesn't matter I mean it's possible okay and you can do your you can contrast you can do your uh, statistics land cover determination evaluation dynamics and so on okay so okay so the code will be on the description of this video as well as the input files in case that you want to represent exactly this um, if in case you want to represent exactly this case I strongly recommend that you represent this case and then you can do with your own data okay uh, it's more pedagogic pedagogic okay and uh, what else uh, we are Hattery Labs what is Hattery Labs Hattery Labs is a blog it's a consulting company that has a blog yeah uh, that is a blog dedicated to the knowledge sharing on open source software in water resources okay we have many online courses we will have some we will develop some solutions for uh, companies and we have a facebook account we have a twitter account and a newsletter and if you like this video you can sign up for the video and subscribe to our youtube channel once again it was a pleasure to bring you this tutorial i'm personally happy that i have because it took me a while i i have searched many options and took me a while to bring you this this code that is uh, quite simple but it's quite powerful as well okay have a